Welcome to the Advanced PHP Development. In this course, we are going to be building a completely custom MVC, that is Model View Controller Framework from the ground up. So basically something like a mini Laravel and it's not going to be easy, I will tell you it's not going to be easy, but this will definitely challenge you on how PHP truly works. So in this course, you are going to be learning a lot of things. A little preview of what you are going to be building in this course is account authentication. On this same page we have, you are going to authenticate both the user and also the admin using a JAX. So alongside, you are also going to learn how to validate the user, how to validate their inputs. Okay, so without further ado, Let's click on sign in and let's see how it works. As you can see, it shows a model that you are going to learn also yourself. You are going to learn how to build it yourself. So we have go to accounts and as you can see, we are on the user dashboard. And this user dashboard is protected by middleware. A middleware that you can write yourself. Let me show you the middleware. As you can see, we have the middleware section here. Here we are for the user and here we are for the admin. So this middleware, you can write it from scratch. You will learn how to do everything that we have here from scratch. And also the routes. Here we have the routing system. As you can see, we have the section for the routing for the user, which is covered, which is protected by the middleware of the user, along with the routing for the admin, which is protected by what? By the admin. So if user login, he, he will not be able to actually go to the slash admin section because the user is not corresponding to the middleware validation so if i go back again and i try to access admin dashboard let's say i just want to try to access admin using the uh using the user authentication it's going to take me back to the user page that says okay, you're already logged in as a user except i have to log in as an admin alongside you're also going to learn how to actually send an email notification to your user while they are performing a kind of transaction or anything on your project anything that has to do with email notification you are going to you are going to learn how to actually do it from scratch so let's say i want to add a phone to my wallet let's say this current user that is logged in i want to add a phone of 300 naira to my wallet and immediately the phone is being created to my wallet i'm going to receive a notification from the website that is from your project so let's do that i'm going to click on add phone to your wallet and i'm going to type 300 naira click on add fund and that is going to initialize flutter with um payments inline payments okay so i'm going to select the card i've used previously in the development section and this is going to validate the payment after the payment has been made from the ui the backend is going to validate the payment and after the payment is being validated immediately you are going to what to receive an email let's go to the email section as you can see we have 5800 and the Transaction is also logged down on the table. As you can see, we have to do under the right here with the transaction reference and the type which is wallet was top up. So if I go to my email now, you are going to see what we've received. As you can see, we have wallet top up and we have transaction was successful. So if I click on the wallet top up, you are going to see the notification message that says, Hi Adelaide, your wallet has been created with 300 Naira. So all this message, you can actually edit it because we have a template that is going to help you format it to any part any pattern you want would like to use it as you can see we have the top up email here this is the top up email for the html pattern so this html section you can rewrite it add css add any kind of designing you would like to add alongside we are also going to be learning how to use cloudinary as your image uploader as you can see we are going to be using cloudinary so let me try to change my profile picture so if i go to the profile section over here we have this profile image selection i will click on select image so how this image is being updated how it's been uploaded you are going to learn it so let me select a new picture from my system so if i select my picture over here and i click on save and i click on skip this is going to upload the image to cloudinary and you are going to accept the cloudinary image then whenever the user click on save it's going to automatically save the picture and you can use the image anyway as you can see i'm refreshing my page now and the picture is already what attached to my user account that is a great bonus for you guys okay and you're also going to be learning how this php mailer works how you can connect php mailer with your smtp how this hosting smtp work in general you are going to also learn it in this course so there are tons of things that you can learn in this course including the buy airtime section where you can actually purchase an airtime and it's going to be registered into the transaction so going further let's also log into the admin section let's see how the admin actually look like so if i 
log in the admin section you are going to see how the admin page look like you can see admin does not admin does not support the wallet wallet credit because this is the admin page so what admin can do is admin can add balance to your wallet as you can see this is the wallet balance we have and if i change this wallet balance to 6800 and i click on save it's going to automatically update the wallet balance to 6800 and if I sign out as an admin and I log in as a user, you are going to see the 6,800 being added to my wallet. As you can see, 6,800 Naira. Alongside this admin template, I'm going to be giving it to you guys for free because I have actually made the payment for this um, Soft UI Dashboard Pro, which is amazing. And I wouldn't want you guys to miss the fact that this template has a lot of features that can take any project of a kind of dashboard so i purchased this um, template and i'm going to be giving it to you guys for free so there are a lot of things you can learn there are a lot of things you will learn in this course there are a lot of things you are going to gain in this course and you are going to also learn how to hide your directories you are going to learn how to do a lot of things how to connect session how to create your route how to do so so many things there are lots of things how to create your controller your middleware so so many things in this course okay guys what are you waiting for join me in this course and let's make the best out of this course thank you again for visiting the course see you in the course bye